Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and I wanted to talk a little bit more about solar activity. Uh, some of you do find it interesting to have uh, little updates on what's to come. So of course we are at solar minimum and we just actually beat a record. We have a space age record as how many days that the sun is uh, without sunspots. The current stretch 36 days without sunspots. This is a record since we've been uh, in the space age and uh, this is making 2019 the year with the deepest solar minimum uh, that we've been measuring in more than 100 years the total right now and you know only uh, what uh, about two weeks left not even 10 days 11 days left 12 days left to uh, December this is in 2019 273 days Without sunspots, that's 77% of the year we didn't have any sunspots. That is the the last time we had as much was 2008, 2009. You could see it on the left here, 2008 and 2009 at 73 and 71%. Uh, but there's, uh, you know, sunshine on the horizon. Uh, we have, of course, the new uh, forecast from NOAA experts, NOAA and NASA experts. The forecast is, uh, and, and the last time they did a forecast, they were actually not that wrong. So it might be uh, pretty much what's going to happen. Remember that the next, according to their forecast, the next solar maximum will be in around 2025. That solar maximum is predicted to be in peak with an average of 115 uh, sunspot number. And that is roughly the same peak as we had with solar cycle 24. So the next solar cycle should actually be as strong as solar cycle 24. Of course, that was a small cycle, but still, we are getting there. There's also a good news. Um, you know, we talk a lot about the, um, the sun and the coronal holes on the sun. And one of the things that we know is that coronal holes that are spaces where the atmosphere of the sun opens up and lets the solar wind escape a little a lot more happen more during solar minimum conditions and what they've been seeing in the last few months is that the so the coronal holes have been smaller and have also uh, been closing faster this is an indication of an increase and the magnetic field around the sun kind of hinting we're kind of starting to see that the uh, next solar cycle is starting to have an impact slowly yet we're still at solar minimum and this is a big year i hope that next year will be better um but i i you know i suspect the next year we'll probably uh, start seeing uh, i don't expect uh, well We'll see next year when I do a video in December of 2020, but uh, I would think that 2020 is um, going to be maybe a little better and maybe we'll have less days without sunspots. Let's hope we see more of those cycle 25 spots. We've seen a few yet, but we need to see more, of course, as time goes by. So um, that's pretty much the update that I had on solar activity and where we're going, actually. Um solar minimum one last little thing is supposed to be somewhere so they they expect it to be somewhere around april 2020 plus or minus six months you know plus or minus six months means minus if you do minus six months we're we could be right now at that deep end and we're going to start going up but it also can mean it you know by the end of next year but um, let's hope that it's uh, it's closer to now and that we are going to start seeing those sunspots if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.